Hey everyone, this is Aprajita back again from Excel Champs. In today's video, we are going to learn about adding bullet points or a special symbol in front of our text in a given cell. Now here we will be covering seven methods of doing so. To start with, we will start with the first method, which is using shortcut. Now for using this shortcut method, you must have a numeric keyboard else you will not be able to create a bullet point in front of your cells. Now to start with, the first shortcut is Alt 7. To do so, press Alt from your keyboard and then press 7. Now as soon as I release Alt button from my keyboard, you will get this bullet point. Similarly, you can press Alt 9, Alt 1, 4 and try various combinations as per your requirement and as per your liking. Just remember, you need a numeric keyboard so that you can press Alt 7 or 9 or 8 to insert a symbol that you like. Now this was the shortcut method. Now another method is using the custom format. Now this is a very convenient, easy and quick method to apply the bullet points in your data. Now here I am selecting D3 to D9. What I will do is I will press Ctrl 1 from my keyboard or simply I will go to home and I'll click on this small arrow and I'll again get this menu. Now I'll go to custom. Here you will get a default text called general. Now what we will do is we will define the format of our positive, negative, zeros and text numbers. How we will do is since I have already like copied my bullet, so I will paste my bullet here. Now I will type general. Now this means I need my positive number to be in this format bullet point and the general text. Now again we will be defining our negative number as the same. Similarly the zeros and then the text. Now I'll press OK. Now when I add a text in my given range, let's say how to insert a bullet. Now I press enter, it automatically gets a bullet point in front as I had defined my text function to be in this way. Similarly, when I type a number, it will again get a positive number. Similarly, if I enter zero, I will again get a bullet point. Since I had defined the format of positive, negative, zeros and text function in my range D3 to D9. So this is the most convenient method to insert a bullet point in your data range. Now the third method is add a bullet point using the dialog box. Now let's say I want to insert a bullet point for these my points. What I will do is I will go to insert go to symbols and select any of the shape. Let's say I'm using this white square. I'll click on insert and close. Now my symbol is inserted. Now I can add writing my text in this way. I can copy paste this square and paste beneath to add again this text. Let's simply copy this text and I will paste here. Now this is how I'm getting my bullets in front of my text. Else what you can do is you can simply like here. I have put this symbol. Now what I will do is I will do this and this. So here I can just freeze this. I got my bullet point in front of each and every of my point. So this is how you can concatenate a given symbol with your text to make it more quick. Since like copy pasting a symbol in front of each and every point is time taking. So you can simply concatenate it with the symbol and the text to make it very very quick. Now the next method is using this function. I'm highlighting it. 
Now what you will do is you will if you simply type this function with a numeric 149 you will simply get a bullet point. Now in order to get this quick what we will do is we will simply use this function and give a space and concatenate it with the points here and yes and we got the bullet point in front of all my text in just a minute. So this is again a very quick method to insert a bullet point in front of your text. Now the next method is using a text box. First of all to use this, use this method you have to go to insert and you have to simply insert a text box. Now once this is created you have to right click since you will not be getting any bullet option in your insert menu or this home menu. So you have to select this text, this text box, right click and go to bullet. Now I'm getting a bullet here. I will again increase the size and I'll start ty typing Excel champs. And then when I press enter, now I have not copy pasted this bullet again. It is automatically giving me a bullet point when I press enter. Now I'll type here Aprajita again enter and it has again given me a bullet point. So this is another method of adding bullet points into your Excel sheet by using a text box. Now the next method is using these two fonts which is windings and webdings. Now this is again very interesting. Now you will see like I, I am highlighting this table. Now I'll change its format to winding. This is an inbuilt font in your Excel sheet. Now when I press 4 here, let's say 4. See, I got an icon here. I'll make it bigger. Similarly, when I press N, I get a square. I press I, I get again an icon. So in this font, each and every alphabet is a special icon. Now when I copy paste this text here and I'm converting it font to windings. See, I'm getting a special character for each and every alphabet. So instead of going to insert and choose a symbol, I will quickly choose a symbol here. Let's say I can see that my capital A has a very good symbol of victory. So I'll simply write here capital A. So this has given me a V for victory. So I can easily choose a symbol here. Similarly, when I convert this to another font that is Webdings. So it has again given me a few symbols. I can again easily choose like this capital U has given me the cross sign. So I can again choose and change this. Now what you will have to do is to you can simply like add here 4 and then use using shortcuts. After this you have to change this 4 to let's say web things. Now, so this is how you can use these two fonts for creating a bullet points and using quick symbols as your bullets. Now the last option is using bullet points in a cell comment. Now we'll select this cell, right click and insert a comment. Now here what I will do is I will simply copy paste a bullet like or I will go to insert symbol. I will use a special symbol close. Now here I will type my text Excel champs. Now I will have to copy paste this symbol again and type my next text here learn excel again i will have to copy paste if it, it will not be automatically coming when i press enter so i will have to copy paste each and every time i am pressing enter to insert this symbol now this is how you can insert symbol in your excel file in different forms or you can say you can add bullet points your to your cells to your text using these seven methods in one shot I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment this video. Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching.